Yes, yeah, Stephen Lauren, the overall takeaway here is students are performing better than they were in the 2020 to 2021 school year, but they're not quite as good as they were before the pandemic quite yet. It was really difficult for him. It was really difficult for myself. Susan Book's son Emerson is now a seventh grader in Wake County Schools. In 2020, virtual learning and a loss of resources hit their family particularly hard because Emerson is autistic. I am very lucky that I got to be able to spend that time with him, but not all working parents are able to do that. The lack of one on one attention and in person learning translated to a big drop in test scores and performance during the 2020 2021 school year. Now data shows students are starting to bounce back. I mean, to even be close to, or even uh, seeing that growth, I think, again, is a real testament to our teachers. Graduation rates and ACT scores are hovering just below pre-pandemic levels. Meanwhile, testing across grades and subjects did improve from last year, but remain well below pre-pandemic levels. Still, some educators say these results are positive. We've got a ways to go, and certainly it's not across the board that all students are, are doing well, um, but it's a very encouraging sign. What's not so positive is the addition of nearly 400 more schools designated as low performing and an uptick in schools receiving D and F grades. I don't think we should be shocked with the results that we all had something lost during the pandemic. It doesn't matter what it was, but that's going to show up in that one little score. Book says her son has opted out of state testing for years due to the stress. She believes schools and students learning can be measured better and hopes these scores don't punish schools. Locally, the ABC 11 I team found Durham, Wake and Cumberland County School District saw an uptick in schools meeting or exceeding standards, but overall a decrease in average performance grades. Poston says going forward, districts will need time and resources to continue to recover. There's going to be new efforts in Wake County um, to have some increased tutoring efforts, some high dosage tutoring for students who really need it. Uh, the teachers need time. For families like the books, they are happy to be back on the road to recovery, even if it takes time. I'm seeing him flourish now, and I'm seeing him get excited about a math assignment, um, which is just uh, amazing to see that change. Definitely a lot of wins to celebrate, but a lot of hard work ahead for this school year. Coming up at 6, we're going to talk to a local school leader about what their plan is to help students continue to recover. Live in Raleigh, Samantha Kumar, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, and unfortunately, the data shows only 51% of kids across the state are performing at or above grade level, according to that testing data. So there's a, a lot of work to be done in the year ahead, Sam. Thank you.